Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. All right, let's talk about multi-track recording on the Behringer Wing using Dante and Adobe Audition. So, the Behringer Wing has the option to insert a card. It comes with an SD card um, recorder in the slot. You can remove that and you can put a Dante card in the Behringer Wing, which will give you 64 channels in and out, out of Dante. So I do have that installed in this board. I'm also using a computer back here that is on my Dante network and I have Adobe Audition installed. So I'm going to have access to 64 channels from the Behringer Wing, multi-track in Adobe Audition that I can record each track individually. So let me show you how this works. The routing looks like this. So if we go to routing, we go to outputs, and we change this to Dante out. So you see here that I have 64 channels of output routing to Dante. So I'm gonna go ahead and patch anything that I want on Dante in here. So I have everything on my board patched. I'm currently using 45 channels of Dante to do that. So I have all those channels on my board sending out to those 45 channels of Dante. So that's pretty simple to get the routing out. So then if we jump over to Adobe Audition. So in Adobe Audition, there's a couple things that you're gonna need. If this is the first time that you're working with a Dante at all, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need the Dante controller, which lets you patch what goes where. So you have everything on your Dante network, and then if you expand it, so for instance, my transmitter in this case is the wing, and you see I now have 64 channels to access here, and then my receiver in this case is this Mac Mini. So you have to make sure that these are patched. I just do a one-to-one -one patch, uh, again from the wing to my Mac, and you just click in each of these boxes and you need a green check mark, uh, essentially is doing all of your audio routing. You also need the Dante virtual sound card. This is what turns your computer into a virtual sound card so that the Dante network can see it. So once you have all those things set up, Adobe Audition now will be able to see it as well. So if you go to the settings for Adobe Audition and go to audio hardware, you can see that my input and outputs are the virtual sound card. Now that gives me access in Adobe Audition to all 64 ins and outs. So I'm gonna set up a multi-track session. You're gonna go File, New, Multi-Track Session. So that's what I'm in now. And you can add as many tracks as you want in here. So I have my 45 tracks uh, already set up and you can see I've already done some recording here. The settings are pretty simple. Each of, your input, each of your tracks has an input and an output line. So for recording, you're going to want to go to the input line, you're going to want to go to mono, and you're going to want to patch it to Dante 1. And you're going to want to do this for all of your channels. So just patch each one individually. This first track to Dante 1, Dante 2, Dante 3, Dante 4, and so on. The next step is you have to make sure each track you want to record is armed to record and you do that by pressing this R and making sure it's lit up red. So each one has to be lit up red to record. And then it's as simple as pressing the record button in Audition. And this would record every track that you have set up in Audition and allow you to edit it later or play it back into the Behringer Wing. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.